Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to give some introduction about Squeak Smalltalk. So first of all, uh, let's uh, get some basic know-how about it. So let's start with uh, some text from a Wikipedia article. So this Squeak programming language is a dialect of Smalltalk. It is object-oriented, class-based, and reflective. It was derived directly from Smalltalk 80 by a group at Apple Computers that included some of the original Smalltalk 80 developers. And it was designed by Alan Kay, Dan Ingalls, and Adele Goldberg, which were the original developers of Smalltalk 80. So my experience is that Squeak is a powerful live programming authoring system. I use it uh, uh, from time to time for some live coding practices, like you can just uh, open a workspace and uh, write some code, evaluate and uh, get results. Like if I want to say two plus two and uh, I can just press control P on Windows and get the result. So it evaluates and prints the result next to it. You can press delete to delete that. So it's a bit like a, a REPL, but a, a little different as well. You can think of this like a JavaScript uh, console. When in the browser, you go to console, type some code, press enter, you get the result. So it's kind of like that experience. So I can also bring up a transcript, which is an output window. So uh, I can use command here to print something. Uh, let's see. Want to uh, use cons uh, uh, transcript object? So transcript show and call maybe hello world. And we can end line with a dot or full stop, or I can just select all. And from here, right click and click on do it option. So it'll evaluate and print the output in the console, just like that. So uh, let me also enable syntax highlighting. So it's more easy to see. Uh, plus if I want multiple lines, I can add a dot at end and maybe add another line, let's say, good by world. Now, uh, if I run this, first of all, uh, in order to clear console, I can use a command called transcript clear. So if I highlight this line, and press Control D to execute the command. So looks like we are building a small module here. So, so the lines are clear. Show this and show that. So I can just uh, press Control D. It's all the, in the same line. Maybe I can add one more line and print CR. Uh, okay, CR is for carriage return. It breaks it and our line is uh, like, our text starts from the next line. So, so this is, a little introduction about console. Uh, I can also evaluate arithmetic expressions. I can type here transcript and uh, 2 plus 2 transcript show. That's the message that we are sending to the console. So if I want to clear this first and then display the output can just do that. And uh, uh, 
if I want to print, I can press Ctrl P. Uh, so it's just a return tra transcript stream. I can just highlight any code, press Ctrl P to get the result. Or I can highlight uh, highlight code, press Ctrl D to execute that line. So that's how it works. Uh, so in this uh, short video so far, I have given introduction about workspace. So workspace is your script or code area where you can type code and execute immediately. And transcript is your output window. So whatever is evaluated in the workspace can be printed here in the console. Uh, the other important windows can be like for starters, we can see the browser window. So it's basically code explorer. So you can uh, view all the classes, all the objects, like uh, basically that, that uh, all the code that's available or that's like in the system here. So you can select different things. You can even find, for example, we want to find transcript. Transcript stream, so I can find it. Uh, here it is, and uh, you can see these methods. So it's quite uh, transparent. Like you can just uh, go there and uh, evaluate, like review code of all the system objects within the Squeak programming system. You can even override them, change them, add new behavior to them as you like. So you can change anything in this system. It's uh, all uh, done the same way in using small talk code. One other thing I want to show in this demo is uh, how you can display a message box. So the, the command for that, uh, it's under a class called UI manager. So I can search UI manager. And here we have a, a few uh, options like we can display a confirm dialog. We can also display inform. Inform can be used to display a message box. So for example, we want to use inform to display a message box with hello world text. So I can just add here like UI manager and get the default instance and call method inform. And then I pass the text. And here I can say, hello world. So in this case, I just want to run this line. So I can select it, right click and do it or press control D on Windows. So let's uh, do it and see what we get. There it is. So that's our little message box here. Uh, it's a model window, so I have to close it before I can access the other windows. So this is our text, OK button, close button, and a menu. So I can press OK to close it. If I press it again, Control D, it is there again. So, so that's the way of displaying a message box. There are like few other dialogues available. In UI Manager, for example, like you can take input or show different buttons on the message box. So all of them can be can be explored here. So you can see inform method takes a str string and it displays a message box. There is also some documentation or comments available in the code. So those are also very helpful to determine the uh, functionality of the, the code here. Uh, we can even look at some other documentation here. If we go to documentation, we can display, like see that in text form. Otherwise we have source code is available for everything. So I think uh, that's a, a very <laughs> beginner friendly introduction to Squeak small, small Talk. Like if you want to use it, just download and uh, uh, for Windows, Mac or Linux and you can run it very easily. So first things you need to 
understand is this workspace transcript and this system browser where you can browse the available code. You can write your own classes as well and they become part of the system browser like you can see, explore them from here as well. Uh, but that's the next stage. First of all, you need to understand how you can write uh, some basic ad hoc scripts and execute to uh, get the results. Like Just like using Squeak as a calculator to uh, or a utility uh, program where you can write scripts and get uh, output immediately. There are also uh, a lot of uh, debugging features available in Squeak as well. It was one of the first uh, programming environments with the, that kind of facilities. So it's a, uh, there is a lot to learn in this environment. In the next steps, I can share some of the links uh, to Squeak uh, documentation. Uh, there is a uh, document called a terse guide to Squeak and uh, a free book, uh, uh, ebook basically, uh, Squeak by example. I'll add links to those in the bottom of this video. Uh, and then there is a Lawson English uh, ch YouTube channel. Like I saw a lot of videos on that as well and it helped me learn Squeak uh, very easily. There is not much uh, resources available but uh, Lawson English channel, that, that's like a very helpful resource. So I'll link to that as well. You can uh, check out uh, videos there about the basics, how to write code, how to uh, perform basic uh, arithmetic, and then even there is some information about UI uh, programming and 3D graphics as well. So that's uh, a lot of fun. So I hope uh, that was helpful and you were able to get some basic introduction to Squeak programming language and basically it's a dialect of small talk and small talk has been there since uh, the 70s so it's uh, one of uh, founding uh, languages and uh, was one of the first uh, language to implement object oriented programming so uh, one must uh, know about small talk and in, in order to understand how it began and what is live programming, what is pure object-oriented programming. Uh, there is not much uh, commercial value of small talk these days because uh, it's not very popular, uh, but uh, it, there is uh, something to learn here. If you really want to understand programming, if you want to understand object-oriented programming, then uh, you should uh, try small talk as well. So that's all for this video. I hope uh, it was helpful. Uh, do check out the links uh, from the description. Take care then and bye for now.